Okie doke. I think we're up and running. I think we're up and running, Prince. Oh, I gotta lock it in. Sorry, bud. Sorry, buddy, buddy, buddy. All right, Prince. We're gonna do some all over the stuff kind of place today. All over the stuff, all over the place kind of stuff. Whatever, that, that Prince, that's what we're doing. Okay. Oh, what do I have? Oh, I got treats. Okay, ready? Come on. Let's move this table. I don't know why this is here. while we do these stationary uh, exercises. All right, I'm gonna get the camera. Sit, stay. Ah, uh -uh. good, stay. Now to get up. 
Uh, so I'll show you a stay again and then we'll do a wait. Stay. Okay, good job. Yeah, good job. Yeah, good job. That's very good. Now here is a wait. Looks exactly the same. Wait. Uh-huh. Wait. Come here, good boy. Good boy. Wait. When we say wait, I want the dogs to be like, what's next? What's coming? Come on. What, you know, what is it? What is it? I want them on edge. I want them waiting. They're listening for uh, what behavior is going to be asked next. I use wait when I go outside doors. I use wait before food. And I say, outside for food. Go eat. Uh, what's another wait I use every single day? Um, can't think of what I use every single day, but that's when we would want to use it. Uh, when it's a momentary stationary position. Uh, I want to teach a touch. Yes, very good. A touch is a target, a nose target to the hand. Good, nice job. So I'm not saying anything right now. I'm just having, oh. Yes, very good. I'm just having Prince hit my hand. And once he starts getting the behavior, we're gonna make that word association. Yes, very nice, get some treats. Yes, very good. I'm putting it really close to his face, only about six inches away. The idea here is I, yes, I wanna set him up for success. I want him to win. Very good boy, very good boy. That's super good. Oh, you looked at it. Uh-huh. Yes, good job, good job. You noticed that whole time, here, go get it, go find it, go find it. Keep him busy while I'm talking. You noticed that whole time I didn't say anything. I wasn't like saying, touch, 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 no, 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 I let him think. I was quiet. Uh, I know when I'm trying to solve a problem, I don't like noise going around. So I'm quiet and I'm letting him think and I'm letting him figure it out for himself. Uh, I could easily, uh, you know, have taken my hand and touched his nose. But there I let him figure it out. Uh, I gave him that time uh, to think it out. And he did. He figured it out. He problem solved. And he's going to know the behavior much better because of it rather than if I were to just, yes, good boy. Good boy. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes, very good. There I changed criteria to make it um, a little bit easy so that he succeeds. Still made him think it out. Still did not give him any answers. Yes, very good. You do better when I sit down, huh? Say this is a new behavior. Yes, very good. Awesome job. Yes, very good, very good. He's doing the behavior super well. So I'm gonna add in that word. So it looks like this. Touch. Good. Good job. The word has to precede, precede, does that mean come first? Yes, no. Whatever the before is, precede, proceed. I don't know. It has to come before the uh, behavior. So you want touch to come well before he does behavior. Touch, yes, very good. Touch, yes, very good boy. Very good boy. Now I'm gonna do a weight and a touch. We'll see how we do. I'm only gonna take a step back. Sit, wait, touch. Yes, good boy. What a 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 boy. Yes, yeah, good boy. Yes, yeah, good boy. Nice job. He's like, give me those treats. Quit playing around, lady. Quit playing around. 
Lainey. Let's do a side shot. Uh -huh. Good. Wait. Touch. Yes. Good job. Good boy. Took him a second there. I don't care how long it takes. You know, I, I care about the end result. He thought through there and he figured it out. I love it. I'm going to get more. I can't even breathe. Why am I so out of shape? Why am I so out of shape? Come on, please. Okay, I'm going to put your cookies in there. Okie dokie. You ready? You ready? So that is the difference between our weights on. Huh? Good, our weights and stays. And I do want to talk about that. Uh, I wanted to talk about it the first time I did it and then I forgot. You hear me say, eh, eh. Uh, I use it, eh, eh. Good, I use it as my no reward marker. So I'm saying, so he jumped up on me and I'm saying that doesn't get you the treat. That's what the no reward marker means. It means you need to try something else. Every time I've given that no reward marker, he's gotten down and I've rewarded that. I said, yeah, that's what I want. I want you to do that instead. So I reward every time he gets down, but I let him know that he's incorrect by using that word. Eh, eh. Uh, I like to use eh, eh instead of no because no is a very uh, emotive word. It's always negative. Uh, and he's not doing anything bad. He's just not doing what I want. But that doesn't make it bad. Uh, so I don't like using, you know, he doesn't deserve this negative tone that comes along with no. Uh, so I use eh, eh. So I want to see if I can coax him again. I have treats. I have treats in my hand. And there are treats. And I'm walking around and you're being so good. Such a good boy. Ah, good. So I, I gave that no reward marker. That's not what it is. And he immediately said, oh, I'll fix it. I'll give you something else. That's what I wanted. A calm behavior. Oh, oh, oh. That would have been a good leave it. That would have been a really good leave it. Touch. Yes, good boy. Very good boy. I made it exciting for you. That's a very good boy. That's a very good boy. I like that. I like that. That's a super good boy. Sit. Good. Wait. Touch. Good. Yeah, that was perfect. Now I'm going to practice a stay. So he hasn't made the association yet that stay and wait are different. Stay. Remember, our stays, we go back and release them. Our weight's always going to be followed by a command so that the dog will either come to us or go somewhere else. But it's a command letting them know that they can, you go do something uh, other than you're sitting there. Good job! That was really good. And his touch is really good too. Touch. Come on. Come on. Oh, you see my traits? Oh, this is on the other side of your face with my other hand. Yes, good job, awesome job. Um, why touch is important? There, I kind of just taught it as a, another behavior to do instead of a recall uh, on our weights, but um, it's an important behavior. Can we stand? Yes, good. Uh, it's an important behavior beyond that. Why it's important, good, good. Stand, over here, yes, good. Good. Why it's important is it's a way to physically manipulate their body, or not physically, manipulate their bodies without physically manipulating their bodies. The idea is, ready? Let's go. Good. Good job. Good boy. The idea is we don't want to physically manipulate them. Uh, I don't want to have to pick him up and turn him around, or if he's on leash, pull him. Um, he, we can play this touch game. Say I need him to turn his body. Touch. Good boy. Over there. You're so close. Oh, you're so close. Come on, you gotta touch it. Yes, good job. I'll give that one to you. That one was really close. Uh, there, we actually, he did the behavior. He turned around. He didn't touch my hand, but it's, it's you know, brand new. So I don't mind that. That was a tough one turning around. But you can see the idea of it. Uh, we can teach a ton of behaviors by using our hand, a touch, 
as a target to teach, okay, this is where I want your body, this is where I want you now. I use a lot of text, say a dog is like nervous about getting in the crate, I will do the touch game uh, to have them go in. Say they don't want to get in or out of the car, I'll have to do the touch game to manipulate their bodies without us having to pick them up. I treat every single dog like it's a great day. Just because dogs are little, it doesn't mean that we should um, pick them up for everything, uh, you know, they, they should be able to do things on their own. Yes, there are physical limitations on these dogs, uh, and I get that. Um, so we want to keep their health in mind. So if they physically, ah, uh, good. If they physically are unable to do something, that's a different story. But say, you know, it's, you know, for, we just like carrying him up the stairs. Um, that is something I would say, you know, let them do. They're just as capable, but if it has to do with their physical well-being, that's, you know, that's a whole nother game. We're all about keeping you healthy and safe. Stand. I wanted to reward that so bad because it was the perfect down ever. That took everything in my body to not say good boy and reward that because that was beautiful, but it isn't what I asked for. Oh, I wanted to, I wanted to, but sit. Down. Good. Stand. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Stand is a position that a lot of times we forget. Uh, to, to teach them in. And if you think about it, they're going to be in this, oh, sorry, sorry, I shouldn't be touching you, you're correct, I apologize. That's for your, for your hard times. Um, the most of the time that you are going to be with your dog, you're going to encounter your dog in this position, in a actively moving position. Um, and a lot of times we don't have a stand stay. Uh, good job, you, st you stop moving, so I'm gonna reward that. We don't have a stand stay. We have to tell our dogs from moving to either sit or down and then stay. This is a position we forget about a lot. Uh, we can full practice right here. Stand. Good. Stay. Good. Stay. Good. Well, I'm going to reward you because you did it. You did it. Stand. Good. Stay. Good. Nice job. That's a good boy. Stay. Good. I'm going to use the other word. Wait. Touch. Get it. 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 Come on. You're so close. You came all this way. Yes. Good job. You came all that way. You were so close. You were so close. I love that. So he's doing awesome with his uh, weights and stays. Uh, practice some in all those positions. Practice it down, a sit. He's doing awesome. I love that. We're going to move on now. So I know we worked on leave it. Or did we work on leave it last time? Well, I guess we'll see regardless. If not, we're going to start from the beginning. If so, we're going to move up in steps. Good. That was a distraction, but I'll give it to you. Good. Good boy. Good boy. You're ready. Leave it. Good. Leave it. Good. Oh, you, we definitely did this. Leave it. Good. My brain is cuckoo. Leave it. Ah. There was that no reward marker. Oh, I almost lost it, but I got it. You ready to try again? Leave it. Ah. Leave it. Ah. Leave it. Yes, yes, good boy, good boy, good boy. You probably saw it there, that jolt. And then he remembered, oh, I'm not getting rewarded when I stand up. Oh, okay, I'm gonna sit back down. That was huge. I love that, that was amazing. Uh, what we're seeing here is we're seeing a ton of behavior consequence. He does behavior and I get consequence. Uh, negative consequence is I take away the treat. 
the treat's gone, he looks around, he's like, where the heck is my treat? The good consequence to the good behavior I want is you get the treat. Uh, and he's very responsive to that. He, um, he would sit down and say, okay, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna stay back here, so that was really good. Let's see where we are from there. Leave it. Ah. Uh -uh. Leave it. Ah. Uh -uh. Leave it. Yes, very good boy. Very good boy. Nice job. I love how he put his body down to control his impulse. I love that. Leave it. Good boy. I would have my hand hovering over it. I was not sure if he would leave that one. That one was hard. Leave it. Good boy. Good boy. They're coming close to him. I'm not even meaning to do it. They're coming so close. Leave it. Good boy. I'm going to start dropping it higher and higher. Leave it. Ah. Oh, I got it. I got it. Leave it. Good boy. He went after it, so I'm not going to give him the treat. I did already mark the behavior. That's okay. I'm just going to start over like it never happened. Leave it. Yes, very good. Very good. Awesome job. Leave it. Good. I'm lucky that rolled around me because he had already taken a step forward. So if that rolled towards him, he would have kept walking. This is the hardest position to control your impulses in, in, in the standing. Um, I like when he put himself in it down. He was self handicapping himself. Leave it. Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! That good boy! That very good boy! Leave it. Good boy! Oh, uh, uh. He moved towards it. I didn't like that. I've seen you do so much better. Leave it. Good! Nice job! Nice job! So you see there, I didn't reward the one where he, he, you know, he moved towards it and then he sat back down. Even though he didn't go for it, Good boy, we you lay there, that's very good. Even though he didn't go for it, I didn't reward it. It's super important that we always reward better than. If we keep rewarding, we're gonna see plateau behavior if we keep rewarding at a certain rate. He's just going to keep giving us that good behavior and nothing else. Uh, you know, yeah, dogs aren't one known to go over and above. Uh, they, you know, are do what they were last rewarded at. Uh, so we want to keep rewarding for better behavior. Leave it. Ooh. I didn't like that one at all. Good, he's self handicapping himself. Leave it. Good. Good boy. Leave it. Good boy. Good job. That one's a little far away. Leave it. I wanted that to go towards you. Good boy. Let's see if this one, I'm going to try to make it go towards him. Leave it. Oh, my boy! Oh, oh, the boy! It literally rolled underneath his chin, no joke. And he knew because he, he pulled his head back and then he, he stayed there. That was huge, good boy! Very nice, good boy! So he's at, good job, that's awesome, that was good work. So he's at the stage of leave it where we're dropping it. I'd say we're about two feet off the ground right now. We can't really control where it's going to go. Um, so, you know, we're not really sure. So this is the stage we're at and leave it. We're dropping it pretty high. Um, we want to advance in baby steps as he's doing good, higher and higher and higher till we're standing up and I can drop it from right here. Um, the difference for me dropping it from two feet to up here is I don't know where it could go. I have almost zero control over it where, you know, when it's lower, I have more control. Um, so it, it makes it harder. Uh, the, the drop is louder. It moves faster. Everything becomes, I love, good boy. I love what he's doing right now. He's being so good. Good job. Uh, yeah, everything's faster, so they want to go after it more. So we work on that moving um, higher and higher and higher towards standing up. Eventually, the next step, uh, right here, we're setting it up in a um, training environment. Uh, I'm looking at him. You know, we're doing the same thing over and over and over. This is very training. Uh, if you were to ask this in real life right now, he'd probably be like, this looks nothing like, you know, that game we play. 
So to get it to look more like real life, the next step after you're able to drop it from up here would be to walk around with your back turned. Walk around with your back turned. I'm not going to drop it right now because I don't want to trick him and uh, have him fail because this is, would be a tough one. But you would walk around and you would say leave it and then drop it. So it's still not exactly like real life because in real life, good boy, in real life, you know, you don't say leave it and then accidentally drop something. That's not how life works. But we're getting closer to real life. And that's the idea here is that we're setting him up closer and closer and closer each time. So that way when real life comes, he's like, I've done this a million and one times. I, I got this behavior down. So that's the idea behind it. So yes, you want to get uh, baby steps to dropping it. Then once you're standing up and able to drop it, the walking around with your back turned, you don't even pay attention to him, almost like you're really truly walking around, and then leave it, oh, dropped it. Um, and then the next steps after that would be to drop it and then say leave it, because that's more like real life. But that step comes later, we don't have to worry about that one right now. Um, we really want to get these steps in and lay that foundation really good. Good boy, I love that you stayed in this position this whole time. I love that. Where did I put your leash at? Over here. Okay, I'm gonna stock up on some treats. I'm gonna take a drink. Why don't you take a drink, bud? Why don't we both take a drink? Hmm. Come here, bud. Whew. Here, friend. You wanna take a drink? It's water. It's good for your body. Okay. He's like, are you going to give me treats, lady? All right, mister. All right, mister man. Good job. Right now, we're going to work on leash walking. We're going to start with very beginning, very basic. I'm going to actually start on a chair because more so than not, you will probably not be sitting on the floor with him when putting his leash on. Come here, come here. Prince, 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 come here. Good boy. Good job. I, as behavior comes up, I like to talk about it and address it because I will forget about it or I'll forget to go back to it. My mind is very jumpy. It's uh, my ADD. It makes it hard for me to focus, so I kind of just try to live with it here. So bear with me. Where did that treat go? Here's my ADD again. Whatever. You'll find it, friends. You'll find it. Um, recalls. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm having the hardest time remembering. Here's that treat. I'm having the hardest time remembering what we went over um, prior, but I'm not sure if we did go over recalls. So I do want to make sure I hit on that information. Uh, right now, he's very interested in, ooh, right as I went to go move the camera to have you look at him, he moved. Uh, he's very interested in checking everything out, which is good. Um, this is the perfect time to capture those recalls. There's very important rules when it comes to recalls. Uh, number one, you start a recall, you finish a recall. Whether it takes three seconds or 30 minutes, okay, that's dramatic. Usually the longest I've done was like two or three minutes. But regardless to what, however long it takes, you don't quit. You don't say, you know, Prince, come here, 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 Prince, come here, Prince, come here. Oh, he's not listening. Come here. Then they just learn that we spew out these words and then nothing happens. There's no consequence that follow um, that word. Um, so we want to make sure we start it, we finish it. The uh, next point is that we want to mark the behavior at a certain time. Timing is everything. A lot of people reward when the dog gets back. Good job. I come from a different standpoint. I mark the decision of deciding to come to me by deciding to leave whatever you're super focused in and coming to me. So as soon as they turn their head and body towards me, that's when I mark the behavior with the G-O-O-D-B-O-Y. And then when he comes to me he physically, then he gets the treat. Uh, so marking that behavior is super important. The next uh, element, the last one that goes with recalls is you have to remember you're always competing against something. So here I'm competing against the stimulus that is in this room. Or stimuli, is that multiple stimuluses? Whatever, that's what I'm competing against. These smells, these sights, they're all different, they're new. You're always competing um, in, in a dog's life with things that they think may be cooler. So it's super important that you're cooler than Ruby, I turned the camera for your mom to see and you pee pee? Oh my goodness. That's so crazy. That's so crazy you don't pee pee. No, I gotta clean it. Don't eat it. Don't lick your peas. That's gross. He's like, I'm just making sure I got it on there. This is my bucket now. 
See, this is my bucket now. I claimed it. Okay. Um, yeah, so with our recall, I can talk and clean up the slides up. So multitask. So the multitask. Um, I'm actually a terrible multitasker, let's be honest. Okay. Okay. Cleaned. Um, I mean, we forgot what we were talking about. Recalls. Um, we're competing against distractions. Uh, so here, yes, I'm competing against everything else. I'm really hoping that he kind of goes into smelling things again. I'm going to throw like a toy to get him to go look at it. What? Okay, good. So here would be my recall. My timing was so late with that reward. Good boy, good boy, dear good boy. Oh, you got a toy. I see you got a toy. Oh, something scary, huh? Good boy, you can figure it out. Good, you got it. You can do it. Yes, you got, no, you can do it. You can do it, you can figure it out. I know you can do it, good boy. Yes, come on, come on, don't quit. Don't quit, you can do it, come on. Let's go, let's get it, come on. No, I'm not gonna get it for you. You gotta get it. I'll help you out, come on. You can do it, get it, come on. Let's go, let's go, get it, get it. Come on, friends, get it, let's go. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Let's get it, come on, come on. You gotta get it, I'm not gonna get it for you. Come on, you can do it. for him to get. Yes, it was uncomfortable, and yes, it was scary for him, but not physically impossible. So I told him there, I'm not going to help you. I'll come over, and I'm going to cheer you on, but I'm not going to help you because I know you can do it. If I knew he couldn't do it, I obviously wouldn't make him do it. Uh, but there, I knew he could physically reach it. I knew, you know, the items weren't going to, you know, fall on him or whatever. Um, so there I was his cheerleader. Uh, he was waiting for me, and when I went over there, he was waiting for me to grab that toy for him. But uh, if we do all these things for our dogs, we're really robbing them of uh, learning how to be independent and solve problems on their own. Uh, there, as soon as he did it, I made it seem like he just you know, won the lottery. That is awesome! Oh my goodness! That's so amazing! How you do, Jay? Oh my goodness! I made a huge big deal about it, and you know, uh, that's a huge confidence booster. Imagine if someone did that for you. Imagine if you did something and they were like, oh my gosh, how amazing, you are the greatest, you are the smartest person ever, oh my gosh. You would be like, yeah, yeah I am. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, that's exactly how I want him to feel. Um, oh goodness, I'm so itchy. I'm so itchy, I didn't take my Claritin this morning. Um, so yes, that it seems so trivial, something as little as getting something out from underneath something, but we need to build up that confidence. Uh, you can never be too confident. He is generally, overall, a very confident dog. I mean, it just, he's spewing it all over, just his look, he just is giving it off. Um, but you can't be too confident in that scenario. He showed he was a little bit uncomfortable by that backing out. He went to try to grab it, then goes, ooh, this thing moves. I don't know if I like this. Ooh, and I went over there and I said, no, nope, we're not gonna be scared of this. We're gonna figure it out. You're gonna figure it out because I know you can. I know you're smart enough to. And he did great. I love that. Um, uh, let's try to get a couple more recalls before I start walking. Okay, let's. I'm gonna move away from him now to do, start the recall rather than um, have him move. You don't even want the tree. You don't even want 
off the tree. I was going to pay you. I was going to pay you for your time. No? Here. I was going to pay you. Good job. Good. Nice job. Awesome job. I pay you and you get the toy. You get a twofer. A twofer. So you saw there, uh, I had called his name and he, he was like, nah, I'm not really sure. And then I did the patting on the ground. Again, I'm being cooler than this toy. I have to outdo this toy. That can, that's hard. It squeaks. Oh, uh, that's pretty awesome. So I did that, you know, hitting the floor. And then he's like, oh, you seem pretty cool. I'm going to come over with my toy. Uh, so that was great. I did mark that one a little late as well. I tend to usually be late with my markings. Um, it's, and if I knew it was late, watching this video, you're going to be like, whoa, you were super late. Uh, I always think I'm pretty good with timing. And then I uh, look back and I'll watch a video and I'm like, oh my gosh, that was like 10 seconds late. Like that was bad. So um, that's another thing to keep in mind is try to keep uh, vigilant. Is that word? Is that the word? Um, just keep in mind of your timing. You want to hit it at the right moment so that they're... They know what behavior it is that we're actually rewarding. All right, Care, let's carry on. We're gonna go into our leash walking now. I gotta get my, let me bring this whole bowl. Okay. So right now I want for Prince to get used to me clipping on the leash and him, I can't see if you're in this Prince. Oh, we're a little bit off, so I'm gonna turn it. Don't you cheat, don't you cheat. He's like, there's free treats here. What the heck? What the heck, lady? Okay, so the idea here is I want him to completely ignore this leash. I want him to think, you know, this leash has nothing to do with me. It is no big deal. Okay, this is too distracting. I thought that would be a good idea, but it is not. Okay, I have a handful. Let's see if that... I should really use my pouch right now. Where the heck is my pouch? Okay. So the idea is I don't want him to look at it. Okay, ready? Prince, sit. Good. Uh-huh. him out. I put the treat over farther on this side so he wasn't looking at this, but I'm all about giving hints. Yes! Good! I'm going to slowly bring my treat hand back. Yes! Good! And I'm only touching this to his neck. Doop. Taking away. Yes! Good! Out of the corner of his eyes, he kind of like moved his eyes a little bit, but I don't mind. Yes! Very good boy. He's like, I got this. Yes, good. Okay, he 100% has this. He's almost being like extra dramatic about it. Like he keeps his eyes looked away from it. Uh-huh. Yes, good boy. Oh my goodness, I love your smartness. Give me your brain. Give me your brain. Uh, so the next step is what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to clip it on. Um, if you're anything like me, it's going to take you eternity to clip it on. I don't know why, I can never find the loop. I can never find this when I want to. I uh, get nervous under pressure. And so it takes me, here I'm doing one second. I'm touching it and pulling away. Here he's going to have to ignore it for at least 10 seconds. It takes me so long to leash up dogs. Um, so, but here we go, same rules still apply. Uh-uh. Good. Good job. And now I'm gonna unclip. Good. I actually clipped it. I didn't even clip it to the right place, but whatever. No big deal. Oh, it's right there. Good. Found it. I found the I found the, the loop there. Awesome. But the idea is I don't want him paying attention to it at all. Good. Good job. Good job. I want him to know like this has this has nothing to do with you right now. Um, I, I am in control of this. That sounds bad, I'm in control. I hate using that because I hate thinking that we control our dogs. These are our best friends. We would never say I control my best friend. Uh, we just want them to know that this is something that, you know, is our, is our issue, we'll deal with this. You don't even have to worry about this. Oh, where are you going? He's like, this is boring. This is boring just sitting here. Let's run. Let's run and do the stuff. Hey, friends, ready? Good job. Whoa. Good. Good job. You heard that noise. You reacted very appropriately. I reacted worse than you did. So that's a good boy. 
This would be a perfect time for recall. You can't see him, but he's really interested in doing a smell over here. Prince! Come here, Prince! Come here, Prince! Prince, 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 Prince! Prince! Come here! Well, good boy! Very good boy! That's a good choice! That's such a good choice. Can I have a sit? Good. Uh-huh. Very good! Awesome job! Awesome job! So he has the beginning part of uh, leashing down. Uh, a lot of people think that this um, step is, uh, what's the word, I don't know, useless or dumb. Uh, oh, touching the, the thing to their neck, you know, this is dumb, why do I have to do this? All these steps are very important. If you skip steps, it's like skipping um, bricks when laying the foundation uh, of a behavior. Sure, you can build on top of that, but uh, when a storm comes and that house is rocking, it's not going to be able to sustain that weight because the foundation was laid incorrectly. Same here, if we skip these beginning steps, you're going to, not maybe, you're going to see this behavior fall apart. Whether it's in a week, a month, a year, the behavior will fall apart. So these steps are very important when it comes to, uh, it's what's called leash and collar respect. We're learning to have respect for these items uh, by ignoring them for now. Um, so yes, very important that we don't skip uh, those steps. Right, good job. Right now I'm gonna work on steering with it. Oh my goodness, you have so much skin. Yes, you have so much skin. Okay, we're gonna get this tightened up. So we did talk about fitting, and I know you're looking into getting a, um, oh, I hear you. You snoring, you sound like my husband when he does the snoring. Yes, you, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Okay, so. We had talked about the proper fitting. What was I doing? Why do you handle distractions better than I do, Prince? You are just like killing it with these distractions over here. Okay, good. We're still recording. Cool. I thought it had shut off. Um, so, good. Good job. Good job. Uh, we talked about proper fitting. It's super, super duper important. Uh, now we're going to go into steering. And I'm just, this is stationary. I'm just going to go left and right. Here, I have the leash uh, with tension on it. Actually, I see in the video that actually I'm too high. Good! As soon as he moves towards that direction, I'm going to reward. Yes, good boy, good boy. I could easily pull him to where I want him. Uh, what does that prove other than the fact that I have the ability to pull him where I want him? I'm waiting this out because I want him to think through this and him to make that decision. Uh, when he makes the decision, then you're going to see him making those decisions more often. If we make the decision for them, they'll never make the right decisions we want. So this is um, one that can be a little, oh, get some water, good job. Uh, a little bit difficult at first because they have a history, you know, with walking and pulling. So this one can be a little more difficult. So, you know, you give them the time they need. Um, one important thing is I actually corrected myself. I saw it in the video as I did it. I felt like I was doing it right, but it wasn't. Is we want to be as parallel with the dog as possible. What's unfortunate for you is that he's shorter to the ground. My dog is like at my hip, so parallel is where my arm hangs, which is awesome for me. For him, you're going to have to kind of get a little bit lower on his level, which is great that I'm sitting right now to teach it. Um, so here you want it parallel with him. So I'm keeping it good. Uh, I'm keeping it tight. I'm not yanking on it. I'm not putting any pressure on it. It is just not hanging on the ground. Good. It is just not hanging on the ground. Any tiny steps he takes towards that direction, I'm rewarding. Good boy, such a smart boy. Yes, good boy, yeah, good boy. Yes, very nice. He's doing super good. Well, that was like a half step. Give me a little more. Oops, that was a little high too. Uh, 
teaching this and making having him make these decisions because actually is what we're doing is we're kind of rewiring um, a a process in their brain. Uh, you know when we hit our knee, ooh, it actually happened there. When we hit our knee, we have that reflex and our our leg goes up. We don't consciously have to think, oh, I'm kicking my leg up. You know, our body just does it. Dogs have a similar reflex when it comes to pressure. Dogs' natural response to pressure is to push against it. Uh, it I don't know if, uh, if Prince has ever done this, but um, my dogs do this literally all the time. If they're on the couch or on the bed and you push them to give them more room, instead of them, you know, moving away from pressure, which would be, you know, moving, they actually physically lean on you even harder. It's not a a mental decision they're making. It is a body reflex. We lean into pressure. This is what we do. This is why this, especially these breeds with the big chests here, are really good for pulling because the harnesses are made to put pressure on their chest and they naturally lean into it. It's not even a process or something they think about or something necessarily they want to do, like, like pulling on the leash. A lot of people are like, I don't know why my dog won't stop. Well, I'm sure they would want to a lot of times when that pressure is there. It's just a natural response to push up against it. Uh, they're not necessarily even comprehending it. That's why it's super important. We do this super slow and we wait for him to make that decision because we have to retrain his brain to instead of react on me putting pressure on this and you pushing against that pressure, I need you to feel that pressure and remember you actually walk away from it. So I need your thinking to actually overcome and override your reactions and your reflexes. That's something that's very hard to do. Uh, it, it, it's not impossible, I, I do it all the time. I guess that it's, leash walking is probably one of the biggest um, behaviors that I do but um, it is different for them. So I kind of want to show you with knowing all that information. Good, good boy. Okay, he's in the open. So we have him here. Since I'm pulling this way, pressure's on, good boy. Pressure's on his neck up here. So his natural response would be to go like this, to lean into that pressure, to put that pressure all on his neck. That would be his natural response. And um, when I say pressure, I'm literally, there's no pressure. Like literally, he probably, good boy. He probably feels like a, uh, tapping, if anything, I'm literally just holding it uh, tight. Um, but yes, his so here, going to this side, he's feeling pressure. Good boy. I'm gonna go this side. Good boy. Good job. Good job. You will see a lot of that freezing uh, in the beginning, especially as we're learning, because good job. The thinking process, uh, overriding a natural reaction process. I need to treat you. I haven't treated you for like six of them, and I ran out. Here, let's, what about one of these? That's very good. That is a super good boy. That's super good. You like that? What do you think? Yeah? They yummy? They yummy in your tummy? Hold on, I need another drink. My throat is uh, dry. You ready? So uh, yes, right now we're working on steering left, right, left, right. Good. And I don't care that it was a tiny step. I like that he did it. We're gonna ask for better and better and better every time. I hope that was a little high there. Oh, he's taking his time with that treat. Still eating it. Good boy. Good job, very nice. Are you just not sure how you feel about that one? Are you still having it in your mouth? Oops. Your mommy's here. What time is it? I think we have a little more time though. Oh, we don't. Uh, we don't have more time. We'll do a couple more. She doesn't have to know. Good. Very awesome. You did really, really good today. I'm very proud of you. You did awesome. I'm gonna give this videotape to your mom so she's gonna practice all this stuff. And if you have any questions, because uh, they're gonna come up, you're gonna be like, oh, am I doing this right, am I doing this? Let me know and I will talk you through anything that I can talk you through. Um, 
If you have to call me to explain it, call me and I'll call you back and we'll discuss it. But he did awesome day. I'm super proud.